What's up everybody? Uh, in today's video, we're gonna start to get into a little bit of the weight reduction uh, aspect of cars, racing, uh, specifically a little bit about gutting your car. Um, like always, gonna try and cover the basics, so we'll go over you know, who's trying to do this, why, why we're doing it, and how we can accomplish it. And I'm gonna share a couple reasons why I feel like we probably should not be doing this on our daily driven cars, okay? So, why we're doing it, you know, if you're competitive, like all racers really are, um, you know, you're going to take every advantage that you can and that's where weight reduction comes in. It's probably one of the cheaper aspects, uh, seeing as you're just theoretically removing, you know, excess parts. Um, so as you weigh less, you're going to get down the, the track faster because of the difference in weight, okay? If you had two cars that basically have the same amount of horsepower but weigh significantly different, um, the one that's lighter theoretically will get down the track a, a little bit faster, okay, or with more ease. Um, pretty much the kings of this are your Formula One cars. You know, they do have like 1,000 horsepower motors, which is a lot of horsepower, but they also only weigh like 1,600 pounds with the driver in it. So that, that's clearly why they're able to go 230 miles per hour around the track, you know, pretty much effortlessly, okay? So how are we gonna do it? I feel like there's a couple different levels of commitment to it, okay? Your most basic and entry level into it is just, you know, removing very simple things like your spare tire, uh, the jack and you know all that from the trunk as you get a little bit more into it it's still your basic entry level but you start to remove the rear seats you remove the carpets things like that as you get a little bit more committed into like that moderate level you're starting to remove like the foam from your door panels you're removing um you know the sound deadening material that's down in the back of your car a lot of people use dry ice to remove that uh, we'll probably try to do a video to show you how to do that you know step by step and then um you know as you get even further into it, you have people, you know, removing their sunroofs, replacing motors. I've heard those weighing up to like four to six hundred pounds, which is a you know significant amount of weight. Uh, but then the extreme is you know starting to remove your structural components of the car, taking a sawzall to your car, basically doing like an operation on it, um, which kind of leads into why I feel like we should not be doing this on our daily driven cars. It definitely helps in racing and definitely helps give you an edge it's something that is not extremely expensive to do but as you start to take a sawzall to your car you're starting to uh, interfere with the integrity of your car okay and obviously your daily driven car you're in it every day you take it to the grocery store you take it to the movies everywhere you're going and you know you're kind of reducing the safety features on the car by doing that okay um, I do realize that as you hit like a certain level, people do start to put in roll cages and things like that in their car, which I think is definitely something that you should consider if you're starting to take a sawzall to your car. Um, but we'll get into that in just a second. The next thing, I know I'm going to get a lot of people to roll their eyes at me. Uh, I love racing. I love being competitive. But as far as a daily driven car, you know, there is the comfort factor in your car. I live down here in Florida. It's February right now and it's it's like 88 degrees. So if you took my AC from me and my power steering for weight reduction, it's just uh, it's a bad recipe down here in Florida. But um, you know, even the sound deadening, you know, all of that stuff really makes a difference. So as soon as you remove it, uh, you know, it's just going to completely change the comfort aspect of your car. All right. And the last part, the last point I would like to make is the cost. Okay. Like I said, it is probably one of the more inexpensive things to do but you know taking a sawzall to your car starting to do all this work on your car uh, it takes time so you know what's your time worth to you you know if your car is out of commission you got a bum ride to work or to school or wherever you're going you know that starts to interfere even on the basic levels you remove your spare tire your jack Murphy's Law you know you first time down the road you're 10 minutes from the house and you get a flat tire now you got to have somebody you know bring you the tire or take you home or get a tow truck just a lot of inconvenience with it so i love racing uh, i love the competitive edge i just do feel like you know for a daily driver car uh we should be kind of skipping out on a lot of these weight reduction and really when it comes to the street you know i'm not condoning street racing but there's always going to be somebody faster than you you know so doing all the weight reduction you know for uh 0.1 second i think the math uh, if you guys have more information on it, I think the math is for every 100 pounds, it's 0.1 second. Um, again, that's just like the rule of thumb that I've heard. If you guys have heard something different, you know, definitely add it. 
uh, in the comments below. But um, you know, all that weight reduction just just for that point of a second, you know, while you're on the street, uh, again, just not very worth it to me. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. Like always, I appreciate you guys taking your time to watch this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. If you like what this channel is doing, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and don't forget to leave your comments if you, you know, have other things to add. If there's different things that you remove, find easier uh, to remove or, or just your thoughts. Just add them below in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.